Got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that ballin'. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it do? Penthouse, man, what it do? Yeah. A mighty bark right there for you. Uh, today's been a little bit different today. Unfortunately, I really wanted to get a productive day done and you know just do a bunch of things. Unfortunately, of course, nothing goes to plan. Uh, I have no power. I haven't had any power for like a good two hours maybe or so. That's been frustrating considering uh, I wanted to get some work done today. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm trying to tell them. Microwave, I got, I got a fresh cup of coffee right here. Like, look at this. Fresh cup of coffee, no microwave. It's great. So I figured today, why not use uh, this to do a little bit of a studio tour, considering I haven't done that for a little bit. Finley seems to be excited, are you excited? <laughs> yeah, let's go to the studio tour, girl, let's go. All right, so been a bit um but like i said though there's no power so we're gonna be just kind of showing you guys the basics of kind of what it looks like with no power at all so it's a little bit different i mean everything should be perfect right now and i'm just going to kind of quickly just give you guys a quick little walk through here talk a little bit about how everything's working how everything's set up what wheels we got going on what consoles my pc things of that nature, how I'm editing, how I'm transferring all my footage from everything else. There's a lot going on, man. We got two TVs here. I got a TV here that can all be changed in a matter of seconds through HDMI boxes underneath. So that's big. Uh, I have all that wired up behind there. We have LED strips. Again, can't see it, right? I mean, lights are off right now. And that's when I feel you can really get a good look at, uh, you know, someone's setup. you know, all the cables are exposed. You can pretty much see everything back there. Um, you know, the dark lights aren't really hiding anything. So um, it just kind of gives you guys, you know, a, just an open, clear look at what I do on a day-to-day -day basis where I'm I figured today would be a perfect opportunity to kind of run you guys through uh, exactly what I'm doing here on a day-to-day. -day. You have to yawn right in my damn thing. Hey, Finn, how you doing? Hey, you look good. You do need a cut, though. Look at you. How you doing? People say sometimes you can't see. You can see. Right? How you doing, girl? You been a good girl? Yeah? I know, I know. But, fortunately, um, I had a chalkboard wall, and over the time, I guess people were drawing on it with uh, permanent chalk, so that was cool. So I'm gonna have to redo that board, but first thing that you see when you walk into the room is this desk right here. Pick this up at Costco. Has the two little bar stools underneath it there that I can move around and say, put them anywhere in the room. Say if my wife comes in, right, she can kind of hang out with me or anybody that does come over to the house. But uh, we have that wood table. That was really nice. I have my collector's edition Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty full set, man. We have the full six. Pick those up on eBay. Really, really happy that I ended up grabbing these because uh, I was really kind of on the fence about them and I decided, yeah, you know what? Let's pull the trigger and get them. Really happy that I did. And uh, that's probably one of my all time favorites, uh, you know, growing up as a kid was Metal Gear. So really happy that I could own those. We have my Bose mini sound system right here. Got that for Christmas. Uh, this thing really does pump, love it. Bose, right? I mean, you can't go wrong with Bose. I did leave it all wrapped up though. I did leave the remote wrapped up. I mean, why, right? I mean, it works as it is, so I'm not gonna unwrap it. We also have little buttons on top. It doubles as, I do believe, a radio for Spotify. It's really good though. Definitely recommend it. We have up here my shelf that I put up. Uh, we have my Essen Motor Show license plate here. We have my custom controller from Jake Myers. Shout out Jake Myers, right? <laughs> right, Jake, Gary, big thank you. If you guys don't know, the man's hooked me up before, man. I'm actually wearing one of his shirts right here. But uh, huge thanks from them. Huge thank you once again for all their support on the channel and everything like that. Right? I mean, look at that, man. This thing is so sick. Had to mount them. Had to frame them. Uh, but we have a whole slew of my Thrustmaster wheels from over the years. We have our 2017 Invitational World Championships right here. This was really cool. The Forza Racing Championship. That was a lot of fun to attend. I still have the footage from that, actually. I need to post that. Forza pins. Uh, we got a bunch of Xbox pins when I met Kyle from 1320. Uh, so that was really cool. Got a uh, tag from him. Just Sparkle wheels. You know, the Thrustmaster F1. We have the new Sparkle rim as well, too. The Rally Edition. Another F1 rim from the TSPC Racer. And then our GT that we just got as well, too. That, and I know the question that everyone's kind of thinking about is, you know, why do you have all these rims still? if you don't really have the rig. Obviously, if you guys don't know, I have the Fanatic CSL Elite on this one with the wheel stand pro chassis. Uh, over here, we have my Thrustmaster TX wheel, um, but 
obviously this thing is already modded with the handbrake, right? So I have the handbrake here. We can't change any rim on here unless I unscrew these three, pull this off, and then I can change just the rim. So these rims over here are not compatible with that TX anymore. So what I've done, and I know it's a little bit hard to see. Let me just pick this up like it's a goddamn lollipop. Plop that down here. I have the TSXW on a wheel stand pearl mount. So I can literally just undo this piece right there and take that out and plop that right in, disconnect everything, attach the wheel, and we're good to go. So I still have a use for all of them. Uh, it's just right now, I'm using other wheels, man. And in this corner over here, uh, PlayStation VR, fire extinguisher, just in case, man. You can never be too careful. Have my Thrustmaster handbrake that I just recently got, which has been a lot of fun to use, and that's also swappable uh, to this right there on the TH8A. So I can just pop that right out from the wheel stand, do that little lever right there, and then uh, slide it in, you're good to go, right? So a lot of versatility with these mounts with the Wheel Stand Pro and the Thrustmaster. And uh, that kind of allows me to just kind of hot swap whatever I want at any point in time. I know this may be a little bit hard to see considering there's no damn light in here, but uh, my camera does a great job in low light situations here. I have the Canon G7X Mark II, and this thing is phenomenal. Little rundown here, just some pop figurines that I really enjoy that I wanted to keep in the glass cabinet, Resident Evil. Grew up playing that as a kid, so I couldn't say no. Fast and the Furious, Call of Duty, and Mick Foley from WWF. Man, if you guys don't know Mick Foley, well, uh, can't help you on that one. I'm sorry. We got Dodgeball. Second shelf down here, we have a massive Hulk from Thor Ragnarok. Uh, just a bunch of collectibles from over the years of traveling. You know, hotel keys, Super Street Magazine back there with uh, Ryan Turk's ride. Signed Fast and the Furious from Dennis. Um, you know, Dirt Coffee signed. A lot of things in here, man. We have money from all over the world. Uh, just, you know, trying to pick up things over my travels. Circuit of the Americas belt buckle right there. I know it's a little bit hard to see in the dark, but moving down here to the next shelf, we have my driven rim, which I got when I was in LA. And that was uh, for the Fast and the Furious premiere when I went to go to Dennis's shop. And he actually gave me that right off of Letty's car. So that was really cool to have. And uh, now I can say that I own a piece of Fast and the Furious in a sense. We have Brian Super there. I picked that up in the States. Couldn't say no to it. Beautiful collector's piece right there, and that goes really nicely with the rim. It's not the same car, but right, I mean, it's still Fast and Furious. And at the very last shelf down here, we have my YouTube yearbook right behind, uh, and that was uh, actually YouTube sent that out last year for everybody that hit a million subscribers in that last year. So that was really cool for them to send out. We have my Stouter from uh, Germany. This beer right there on the left, I got that from a subscriber uh, the first time I went to Germany, and I actually met him and he handed it to me. So that was really nice of him to bring over, uh, you know, a unique beer that I would never find over. Over in Canada so I kept that didn't open it we have some Presidente from uh, when I went to Putacana um, a bunch of wristbands right from traveling as well too but lots of things man lots of things that I've collected over the years I do run a pillow for some nice back support on here if you guys don't know this wheel stand pro uh, this full chassis they sent over it's one of one right now I mean nobody else has it. it's custom made flop logo on there uh, just for my body I like the pillow when I am racing for long periods of time. Thrustmaster, Xbox, Wheel Stand Pro on the bottoms there. Now I know it may sound funny, but uh, yeah, I do run with uh, actual racing shoes. I don't do them up 100% unless it's you know a serious race, but it is nice to have shoes on the pedals there. Uh, we have the full Fanatic rig, like I said, CSL Elite. We have the handbrake, the shifter, and then below the pedals with the load cell brake, and then the Wheel Stand Pro holding it all together. Gloves, big thing, man. Go ahead and take this off. This is my chest cam. I usually run for all my videos there. So that's a must have for the rig. Uh, the gloves, another piece that I cannot live without, especially when I am doing racing or any drifting like that. These are the Sparco Hyper Grips. Uh, Thrustmaster sent me those, love those as well too. So on top here, I did forget to mention, we got my G2A crates up there. Lighting source from Amazon, really, really necessary, especially to get a good solid lighting when you are recording. Got some soundproofing in there from AeroZoom. Huge thanks to them. Link will be found down below if you guys need any soundproofing whatsoever. Great deals, fast shipping, and uh, really good adhesive to the wall. Now going from top to bottom, we have my Sharp 42 inch. Nothing crazy, man. I got these at Costco uh, when I first moved into this house over a year ago. 
and I just wanted something that I can get two of them. They weren't too expensive, and well, they were like 450 each, so it wasn't that bad for a 42 inch. Now, of course, it's gonna be a lot easier to hide them in the dark, but I did do a really good job at hiding all my cables, just a really good cable management back there with Velcro ties that just kind of hold them together. Not zip ties, because those are really hard to kind of readjust if you need to, but the Velcros are really nice to readjust things as you're going. Pro tip for any cable management system, find them on Amazon real cheap, man. It's not that hard. Uh, left to right, we have Gran Turismo Driver, Metal Gear, and uh, Gran Turismo 2, all four iconic games from the PlayStation 1. We have my PS4 up top with uh, XXX's GTO right there, man. I absolutely love this thing, and you can kind of see the Velcro right there at the back. Uh, but I've had this for a very long time, and uh, this is one of my prized possessions for sure of my collection of cars that I do own. Second shelf, PS3. We have our Controller Chaos. That's the Pack-A-Punch version on the Controller Chaos. So that can be found on their website. Use my discount code found down below. PS3. Uh, we have Cruising USA N64, mint condition, plastic casing at all, Gran Turismo Sport, SOCOM, US Navy SEAL, that's a classic, and uh, Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift in mint condition. At the very bottom, uh, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1, and a bunch of hats as well too, and then our Hager Garage down there. But I like stuff, man. I like collecting stuff. My monitor, now this actually acts as a double screen for my Mac over there. So instead of me sitting here and squinting, over at the computer, uh, it's a pretty easy process just to look on this monitor here. I have my mouse for my PC, and then usually what I do is I'll bring over this mouse over here and then just drop that here and then use it uh, as the monitor there. So we have a keyboard, a secondary keyboard just to kind of pull out. Here we have our blue snowball microphone with our pop filter on a road arm right here and this just kind of swivels from side to side if i want to use this rig uh, i can use that or go to this rig and then use that so coming from this middle over to the right we have my sharp 42 inch again it just it's a secondary tv it's the same thing just doubled uh we have the fanatic sticker on top there xbox one gtr we got a couple bubble heads you know some hats xbox 360 with the custom camo at the front where's that car from Leave in the comment section down below. And then over here we have a collector's edition Forza 2 and Forza 4 on the left hand side. Also have collector's edition Forza Horizon series as well too over there. So I have everything in collectors which is pretty cool. I picked those up off eBay as well too last year. Logitech speakers on the left and right. And then moving to this rig right here. So this is the Thrustmaster T3PA inverted pedal setup, wheel stand pro on this whole thing holding it together we have my custom hydro handbrake here tx base we have the energy wheel add-on with the adapter there's an adapter hub right here that allows me to run these wheels so that's why that's possible all the links are found down below for all this stuff uh, we have the th 8 a shifter with the uh, rick motec uh, short shift as well too so this is just complete kind of you know allowed for shorter shifting on there we got the good old send it sticker that's where the majority of the work goes down so for any game that does not require a wheel cam uh that's played right here in this area so i play it on this tv i have a secondary monitor set up for the pc and then i would record on the mac so i actually screen capture my PC when it's on instead of using a program on the PC to record. So it just allows for a lot faster gaming when you are trying to record at the same time. You don't have the CPU getting dragged down by something else recording, right? So it's just an easier process. Uh, on top of the table here, we have my PC controller that I've been using for a while now. It's the Razer PS4 uh, comp controller, if I'm not mistaken. Now it's compatible for the PC, so that's been a lot of fun to use. Uh, I've been really enjoying that. Codemasters actually sent me that a while ago, so huge thank you to them. We have the PC rig right here, uh, which I did do a full build on on the channel. So if you guys missed that video, I'll link it down below. But we got pretty much i7, 1080 in there, a uh, bunch of fans. We got some LEDs, right? It's real nice, man. It's real nice. All those will be found down below as well, too. LG 32-inch TV, nothing fancy, nothing crazy. I'm looking to upgrade this very soon. USB hub over there just to kind of help everything going. Also have a stream deck. I know you're probably thinking, well, you don't stream. Why do you have it? I'm planning to. I'm actually planning on streaming very soon. So if that's something that you guys would like to see, leave it in the comments section down below. And also I have uh, my Razer Naga mouse. Also have the Black Widow keyboard, which I personally love this thing myself. I love the sound of it. I know there's people that don't like it. Some people do like it. Some people don't. We have the Firefly mouse pad. Uh, this actually I really like this actually can track all your movements so you can kind of see on you know What game you're playing where your mouse usually is around you can kind of help 
what you're doing and kind of fix what you're doing wrong, which is kind of cool. So the two that I use, the HDR165, which is a really nice wireless headset here. And then I also have my Astro A40s that I use for the Xbox. And long story short for those is when I am playing on these different TVs, I actually can change my optical audio, which is for the Sennheiser. So what I do is I come underneath it here and I have my Astro mix amp velcroed onto the table and I literally just unplug this this one's for the far left TV this one right here is for the TV with no wheel and this one right here is for the TV on the left and you just literally can swap them out have them all hooked up all run into the TVs and we have optical audio on all three TVs and it's swappable so that's the easiest way that I've found uh, to getting all of my audio consistently when I want it. I don't have to, you know, kind of mess around with other things, plug it into the headphone jack, because obviously once you're in the headphone jack on the PC, it makes it a lot harder for recording uh, because it then kind of takes away all of your audio in general. So uh, just over the years, you know, just kind of shortcuts that I've found to, you know, kind of make my life a little bit easier when I am recording. We have down here as well. So my headphones should be on this. This is usually where I would charge them. Uh, we have just a nice little kind of cable management here, extra iPhone charger if necessary. Um, I picked up this, this is some Velcro wrap, and this kind of goes around all bigger cables that I have and really does come in handy, to just make it look a little bit cleaner. Um, we have here my three HDMI cables. So this one right here is for the left TV, TV with no wheel, and this one right here is for the far left TV. Uh, and those again, we have the Elgato right behind here if you're wondering where the hell that's connected to. We come to the back here, this Elgato right here, that's my main Elgato when I'm recording. Also have an HD60S uh, that Elgato sent out to me, which I will be using to stream. So I'm just trying to set those both up so it's very easy to swap out cables. Now to change the source of everything, so from an Xbox, PC to PS4, uh, what I have back here is also another HDMI splitter box right there. All of them go into there and then that goes out to the Elgato and then that allows me to uh, change whatever input I'm using. I've kind of memorized it over the years, but number one, that's the Xbox One. Number three, that's my PC. Number two is my PS4. Four is my PS3. And then number five is my mobile device. So I have all those hooked up underneath and then it's a matter of just switching them out, which is really convenient. Uh, we have my Mac touch bar underneath of there that I use to edit simultaneously sometimes. If this computer right here is a little bit slowing down, which it usually has been now, so looking into maybe upgrading this very soon to a new one. Uh, I don't really know exactly. I don't know exactly what I wanna do with that yet, but I may make a Hackintosh. I don't know, I just, I need Final Cut. So we have to wait, see what I'm gonna do with that. I have uh, my webcam that I would be using for streaming. Logitech C920, if I'm not mistaken. Google Home underneath, obviously, no damn power. My wheel cam, I use my GoPro Hero 6. I recently had my Hero 3 Plus. I used this for quite some time, this is my Hero 3 Plus. It was not bad, unfortunately, as you guys can see, there's some damage. It fell off the back of my car, probably going about 60 or 70. Uh, shattered the mount that it was on and the back screen no longer works, so it's unfortunate. The GoPro works, which is good. Uh, just no back screen, which I kind of need for when I am recording, just to make sure that I am in frame. Other than that, sometimes I'll use uh, my AirPods just when I'm editing. Just wireless, right? I mean, I hate wires connected to me. That's one of my biggest pet peeves when I am doing things. But this mouse here, the Logitech, uh, what is this? The G402. They sent this out to me when I won the contest a while back, and I use it as a spare mouse, just if that mouse is over on that table, then I can kind of just do my thing over here and not have to bring back and forth, right? Salt Rock, lateral opener. We got my CUDA. We got a Demigorgon, a uh, bunch of controllers, our charger blocks from Nyko. Huge thank you to them. This thing has been really clutch. I will leave their link down below. Let's charge the PSVR controllers as well too. So it's a really good all-in-one package there. Uh, my Sony camcorder that I bought a while ago. It's really good. It's a 4K camcorder, VR AX33. My tripod mount seems to have cracked the bottom of it though after the years of using it, which sucks, but really good camera. Uh, just still kind of keeping it and gonna be using it for longer range shots and stuff like that. Cam link, which I got from Elgato as well too. So a big thank you to them for sending that over. And last but not least, we have uh, my big wall of just stuff, man. We got so much stuff up here, it's ridiculous. Now this shelf up here, just a mid... And uh, yeah, we got a lot of stuff up here. This big domo right here stands out to me for a few reasons. One of which was I traded this way back. We got a bunch of cars that I've been collecting. Let me know your collection down below. Also have down here my personal sales award. 
when I was working at the source, that was my first year working there. And they stopped doing these after uh, the first year I was working there, which kind of sucked because, you know, it was motivation to keep selling and just work harder, getting, you know, an actual plaque at the end of the year. But um, not bad, right? Just, just under a quarter mil, 220K. And I picked up this Camaro a little while ago, the Edelbrock, uh, really cool with the ITB setup. Camaro, Challenger. Can you name the movie? Name the movie down below, man. Come on, you can do it. And we come down from the top. We got a bunch of lanyards hanging that I've received over the years of traveling in E3. Um, where is this here? This was uh, Germany, Spain. Uh, this was London for the Insomnia event. Michelin Pilot Experience. Um, Circuit de Americas, we went with Forza Dakota and uh the forza invitational as well too just so much stuff man it really is i collect bottle openers everywhere i go that's like my thing i love to collect them we have the red stripe presidente um but if you guys look i'll give you a nice little close-up here of all the bottle openers that i have grabbed over the years some notable ones um this one right here from Switzerland, we picked that up as we were stopping. I had barely any time, ended up grabbing it. Same with Paris. I got both of these on just a stop and go kind of thing when we were transferring flights. But I had to get one, man. I had to get one since we were there. Um, other than that, I love my Bigfoot one that I got. That was from San Francisco. And then uh, also have a bigger one as well, too, when we were in Minnesota. And this thing is really cool, but original 1858. A lot of stuff, man. This... Wooden, wooden bottle, wooden bottle, wooden bottle, right? It's cool. Bullet, it's not a bullet. It's a lighter, right? How cool is that? Imagine if I just set the whole thing up. Down below, we got a couple wheels here. The wood grain, that one Adam LZ sent me a while back. Car X Drift Racing sent me that one. Fast and Furious, right? I mean, you gotta have some Fast and Furious cars in the collection. I've actually had these for a very long time, way back when the movie first came out. And uh, yeah. They're hard to find now. I don't think you can even find them. We even have the little characters at the back that came with the car, right? I mean, how, how damn cool is that? I think one of my biggest regrets was I didn't keep enough games when I was growing up. I was trying to trade them in, you know, get more games, stuff like that. But obviously, uh, should have kept them. And then over here, we have my Michelin Pilot experience that they sent me. And we got the Honda Pilot RVR Mixed Reality Race with Graham Rahal. That was really cool. And they sent me that massive plaque right there. So that's been really cool. I'm gonna put that there. Don't know where I wanna put it yet. I'm really thinking about potentially putting it right here and taking out those. I don't know yet, because I have so much space up here yet. I wanna put some shelves maybe. I don't know, man. Lots of things that I still want to do. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed my office. I mean, this is where I spend the majority of my time. The only thing I'm really missing is a coffee maker. I feel I could really benefit from one from going up and down the stairs. And I've also just been trying to keep up with my health as well, too. When you are doing YouTube for a long time or just, you know, playing games, your back starts to hurt, your lower back, you know, stuff like that. So I've been trying to just keep a little bit more healthier, drinking lots of water, doing some weights over the days, push-ups, you know, chin-ups, stuff like that, right? I know it sounds stupid, but... I'm almost 27, man. It's pretty crazy to think about. And uh, time's going by very fast. I'm just trying to make sure that my body is, you know, going to be okay, I guess, if I am going to be gaming for the next couple of years. So it's definitely something to think about if you are younger and, you know, want to be gaming for long periods of time or at the computer screen. It definitely is something to think about for sure because uh, it will catch up to you, right? I mean, from, right, from one old dude to, you know, a younger dude, uh, you're welcome, right? I'll take that for sure. Oh, I forgot one thing. My chair, man. This is the Need for Seat. And uh, this is it right here. It's the Maxonomic Need for Seat XL version. And fortunately, um, I, got, I don't know why, but this has started to kind of chip off a little bit. I don't know if I've been hitting it on the desk. I'm not really too sure, but the chair itself is fantastic. Pretty nice, man. It's a really nice chair. Did a full unboxing on it as well, too, if you guys missed that. This was from Nathan. I got this a while ago, and I forgot to showcase this, uh, but he burned me something on a piece of wood, and he actually does custom ones on custom wood burning on Instagram. Custom underscore wood underscore burning on Instagram. Check him out. Follow him. He's trying to make a business out of it, and uh, tell me what you think. And this is it here. Now, this is the big piece of wood. I got this. I was like, what the hell is this, man? It was flipped like this when I first got it. So I was like, uh, all right, but... Look at that though, man, he did my logo. Now, before I got this one, my wife's cousin's husband, right? That's a mouthful. He did this one for me, man. Look at that, I got two of them right now. Like what? He did this a while back, sent it over to me. It's a little bit thicker. Um, but when I got the second one, I was like, oh my God, I got two. I have no idea where to put these things, man. I really don't. That's what Finn, what are you eating? Don't be eating my magnets. No, no, get your eyes down there, huh? 
Yeah. Well, that is it though for the room tour today. I think we went over pretty much everything. I know a lot of you guys have been requesting this for a long time, so um, it's done. We did it. Gaming room update 2018 with no power, man. No lights, nothing. This is what you see is what you get today.